the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Well, maybe. Hi, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and I haven't recorded on this channel for like two or three years. Um, there's a whole story to why I'm back, but I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial and get started so we can start learning some stuff about After Effects. So to get started, I'm going to jump over to Photoshop and show you what I'm working with here. I want to take this character and bring him into After Effects and then use the Puppet Pin tool to rig him up for animation. As you can see, I have my layers separated out. We have the head, the front arm, the front leg. Basically, I intend to be able to use all of these layers individually as well as together to create a cohesive animation. Well, I could come over to After Effects and you can see I have that character right here inside of my project panel. I'm just going to drag him down to the new comp button. You can see he's now here. And if I wanted to, let me just zoom out. I'm going to grab the puppet pin tool by using command P or control P if you're on Windows. And then I'll come in and start adding my points. But you'll see that there is a problem as I start to do this. I can't add points to the back arm or the back leg. And basically what ends up happening if I try to add those points, and then let's say I want to move my arm, I can grab the point here and I should add points to the leg as well. But my point is you're going to see that the back arm just cannot be worked with because the mesh that's created with the puppet tool covers everything that's currently visible. And this includes the front arm, which remains attached to the body as well. There are a few solutions to this, but one quick way you can go about this is if I come back to Photoshop, I'll show you what we've done here. I have the same rig, but before I bring it into After Effects, we separate out the elements. So everything's the same, but we just use the selection tool and moved everything out of place. So now in After Effects, we're going to find that detached character and then go down to the new comp button. And now with the puppet pin tool, you can come in and start adding your points. So now we can do one separate mesh for this arm, for this arm, and then for the body. And we could do the legs as well if we wanted to. But once you have all of your points set, all you have to do is take the puppet pin tool, click and drag to select all the points for, let's say, the arm. And then just bring all those points over like that and put it right there. Do the same for the second arm. Bring it over like this. We can use that as the back arm. And right down here on the timeline, under effects, you have your puppet. And here you can not only rename your meshes, if I click on one and then hit enter, I can name this one B.arm you can then rearrange them. And in this case, it's in reverse order. So anything on the bottom is going to be on top. So if I click and drag and bring this all the way to the top of the list, you can see that the back arm goes behind the character. And then from here, we could add some animation. I'll just use the selection tool by hitting the V key. And I can come in here and just move some stuff around very quickly. And I'll just take those points and let me zoom in here, grab that point, bring it over like that. And as you can see, we can animate just like that. So that is one quick way you can go about using the puppet pin tool inside of After Effects. And again, the great thing about After Effects is that there are multiple solutions. So feel free to play around and look up other tutorials because there are many ways to go about this stuff. If you'd like to see more tutorials, feel free to leave a comment. I would love to see what you would like to see. Also, if you're looking for more advanced stuff, longer courses that are more substantial, please check out my profile on Pluralsight. I've done a lot of courses that go into great detail on a lot of subjects. You can find the link in the details box. Thanks for watching, guys, and it's great to be back.